butter and my garlic Sweet. and my syrup and my onion. Make me so hungry. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, I ain't had no water break this morning. Lord. It's an early for water break. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, that's when I'm Yeah, under the table somewhere. <laughs> So while you're doing um, certain things like this, if you're sweating, you know, you're not coloring at all, um, you can then go ahead and cut your florets, you know. Utilize your time to wisely where, you know, I always tell my students if you're if the only thing you're doing is cutting is cutting product and not cooking, then you're doing something wrong. If you, unless you just walked in the door. At any given point, if you're just cutting products, you're doing something wrong. You should always have two or three, as you can see, things going. You know what I mean? Um, and that's key to pastry world and to to culinary world, really. I want to cut these so you do everything, just in, everything. Yeah. Cool. Why not? You okay. know? Like this time you're gonna use. So we've got our florets. Do you keep your florets in your small separate? Yeah. Okay, easy. Easy. Pants. Pants. It's like you're mad at your face. Facial. Smell good. Say with stems is that they tend to be a little bit coarse in, in uh, texture. So um, if you add them, uh, they're better added to something that you're going to blend up. Because it breaks up that fiber. Does that make sense? Sure.
depends on what your, you know, what your objective is. If your flavor is super good and you're, you know, just clarify, fight an hour. You're looking to fortify and clarify. Yeah. 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 We're gonna need it for. Yeah. Yep. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. 